Sweet Gemini, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot, and welcome back. And to anybody that's new, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell on all, and set your settings in YouTube correctly and in your device so that you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded or when I go live. Thank you very much for my Cyber Angels for sharing and liking. I do appreciate it a heck of a lot. And there are loads of new things happening. And those new things are Cyber Parties. Um, I just would like to pass on positive news and my experiences as well. Uh, like um, I'll be holding a Cyber Party on Magnetics. Um, candles, uh, party lights, also joysticks that you don't have to light and it's just an uh, information and perhaps you might want to get involved in, in magnetics or party lights or anything like that. It's a bit like Tupperware um, and I also would like to um, um, put out there not only positive news but perhaps ideas for Christmas. Christmas presents and you usually see me wearing um, uh, the uh, magnetics the um, magnet on my jumper and on my finger this is the magnet this is uh, also got copper in it so it's brilliant against rheumatoid arthritis uh, muscle pain joints and it's beautiful and I can't, I didn't believe in it, and uh, now <laughs> I can't do without it. It's like the magnet uh, um, uh, neutralizes the pain and uh, works with the energy. And uh, Nadine, sh um, she has also got bracelets, jewelry, earrings, uh, chains. So if you would like to join in, then please become a member of Charlie Angels Tarot on Facebook and we might do it through Zoom or we might do it through the rooms uh, that is on Facebook now. Then you just have to click on the link and you can join in. Please let me know in the reactions if you are interested and I'm waiting for party lights to get back to me. Um, the representative and that's Georgina and she works with uh, me in the witches series. The witches series is not only about Wiccans or witches or whatever, it's also about being healthy and eating healthy and taking care of you. It's also got to do with tarot, astrology, uh, astrology and numerology. I love the series and um, it makes me happy to work together with such a beautiful person as Georgina. Okay, so if you would like to join in, then let's get together and rock the boat. Okay, sorry, I'm just getting in my beautiful funny mood again. <laughs> you, uh, I love doing my tarot and I love doing the readings for you. Uh, I am so lucky to have you all. Your magic. So I'm using the Seer light, light of the Seer Tarot again and I'm using the Angel Tarot or, um, Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Anyway, there's loads of new decks now. She left a hole in the market and there's some beautiful decks coming into existence like these. In one way, I'm sorry to have seen her go, but in the other way, uh, it makes uh, room for beautiful new artists to bring out their decks. And the first card you have, Gemini, is Renewal, and that's Archangel Jeremiel, and or Jeremiah. I call him Jeremiah, and he's a lovely angel actually. And Renewal stands for Judgment. You can see the rising dead are being uh, hailed in by Archangel Jeremiah. Usually it is Archangel Gabriel in other decks and also in the traditional tarot. And that blows in new 
air into somebody's life, the rising dead. So this card means a new beginning or a second chance. Ooh, a second chance at what? I just wonder. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. And 20 becomes 2, so you are in balance, my darlings. And you can see that the traditional cards are larger than the light uh, of Sears. Then you have the Emperor. You might feel like the Emperor, or you could be meeting the Emperor. And he represents Aries. You might also seek on the 2nd, <coughs> excuse me, the 2nd of November advice from a professional man, or a father figure, or a man that's mature and that you have respect for. Wow, this could be uh, a new investment, or a second chance in, in, an, in an investment, or a second chance at a job, or a new beginning anyway. This could also be uh, a second chance in a relationship or a friendship and you might seek the advice of uh, a spiritual man or a, a lawyer or a social worker, somebody that can give you advice. Like I said, it can also be your father or a mature man that you have respect for. On Wednesday, you have the Two of Fire, and the Two of Fire is the Two of Wands. You could be seeking advice about a partnership, like I said. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, it can be a partnership in business. You could be uh, starting up a business with an Aryan. Okay, your plans are coming together. You're making plans for the future and they're not totally there together yet but you're sorting things out uh, what if I do this this way or what if I do that that way is it wise to partner up again for a second time because that happened the first time so be careful forewarned is forearmed so make sure that if you are signing contracts or partnerships or anything like that that you have all the information don't get out of balance because two is also balance Okay, and I am getting to hear um, two minds are better than one. I don't know why, but it might resonate with somebody. You've come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward. That is what the card says. Now, like I said, I'm getting messages also, and uh, this message is telling me forewarned is forearmed. Think about what happened the first time round. This could also be with a different person, but remember what went wrong the first time. So learn from your mistakes. Okay? You don't want to end up again down in the dumps. Either physically, mentally, uh, or financially. Because you've got the ten of wands. So if you do it correctly, this new beginning because the 10 is an ending, okay? There's an ending. An ending of being alone, an ending of financial difficulties or mental difficulties or physical difficulties. You might, let's say you might have a shop and big boxes um, are delivered and you can't lift up the boxes because uh, I see all heavy stuff on the mule or oxen back. Uh, perhaps it might be handy to have a partner that can lift up things and move them for you. Things like that. You have to discuss who does the manual work or the brain work, the bookkeeping or put the stock out into the shop. But share and share alike. Like I said, you have to keep the balance. So make sure that everything is clear. Communicate clearly and uh, clarity will give you transparency and uh, keep everything on the same level. Okay? In balance, I mean. I'm seeing somebody doing this. <laughs> um, but the new beginning is here, my darlings. You're nearly there. Don't give up now. 
okay? You might have had a difficult time and it might have been heavy, but um, don't give up now. You're nearly at the end. As they say, you're nearly home. You're nearly high and dry. On Friday, we have the Five of Cups, the Five of Water. Don't cry over spilled milk. What has been, has been. Okay, you can change the present and you can change the future. So, like I said, learn from the past. And that's most probably what that advisor is going to tell you. <coughs> learn from the past. Be clear. Make show, Know your boundaries. Know their boundaries. Make clear-cut decisions. And be transparent. And communicate. Okay. Things not turning out the way you had hoped. Not seeing the positive in a situation. Crying over spilled milk. So stand up, dust yourself off and get into action. So you can change the present and you can change the future. Because the future is bright. Because you've got the Nine of Cups. And they just look like gongs. I love it. And look at the uh, treasure chest. Your, if you do things right, I've got a feeling there's going to be a load of rewards coming in. If not, your wish or your goal is going to come true. But you must get into action. Okay. Now we've also got the page of water. The page of water is Pisces. And before I go on, the Nine of Cups is an ending. A nine is an ending. There you go. The new beginning is coming in. And the page of water is Pisces. So there might be a Pisces in your... Uh, uh, in this partnership. Or there could be uh, an Aries, a Pisces or a Gemini. As we also have the lovers. But before I go on to the lovers, the page of water brings you news. This could be about something that you're passionate or that you love, but you could also meet a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces. They might become your partner. A new person enters your life. A, rela a relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. Well, you could be uh, having a second chance because of the judgment card renewal you could be having a second chance not just a new beginning it could be somebody new but it could also be somebody um, from the past or in and around you then you have the lovers and the lovers means of course it's a Gemini and that it represents Gemini but it could mean partnerships either in business or in love they think the way you do they are your soulmate lovers is even more than the two of cups this is definite a confirmation of definite partnerships and a soulmate somebody that understands you that has the same interests that uh, thinks the same way as you do does things mm, the same as you um, they un they just understand. You don't have to finish each other's uh, sentences because you know what they think. Now the ego card is the devil. Okay, look at, at that person. Somebody is wearing a mask. So perhaps somebody uh, in the past wore a mask and they weren't clear. It's number fifteen. Now, the devil means that there's somebody perhaps with a bad habit and an addiction, so be careful. Um, perhaps you, um, I get to see the seven of swords or the five of swords. Perhaps you had arguments with somebody in the past that was a partner in business or in love um, and they weren't showing their true selves because they were hiding their bad habit or addiction. 
it could be that if you uh, if it's in business they turned up late at the office or at the shop or at work and you had to open up the shop and you had to do the heavy work um, because I'm coming back to that heavy load and you had to carry everything it wasn't balanced it was only take 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 they took and you didn't you did all the hard work and that's why you broke the friend uh, partnership up or and so right did right too you know if you don't carry your weight then what are you doing here you can't keep on dragging a dead horse around that is what I'm hearing in you know if this could also be you so be careful if it isn't you then make sure that you know who you are dealing with and who you're partnering up with the devil also represents Capricorn so you have Capricorn Aries um, let me have a look um, the water people the Pisces foremost and Gemini and you've got the king of cups okay that's cancer so be forewarned that if you if you're the one that hasn't got an addiction or a bad habit then be aware of somebody else that has you can't be somebody's backbone you can't carry all the weight they have to carry their own weight okay now it could also be that somebody is not being true to you they're wearing a mask then we've got the king of cups this is a nurturing caring man passionate love uh, sensual and sexy he can be a good looker usually they're blonde but he's got white hair so he's quite a mature man in this deck but usually they're blonde and blue eyes so you could be even dealing with a cancer cancer and Pisces but I always take it as a general this is also a general reading because I always say don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces okay so he knows he knows how to take care and he is gentle in, in in general he's gentle and a good man he will provide for the family so he definitely will pull his weight okay like if you have a person that is more um, demanding and they know what they want and they go for it sometimes they do what they want no this man is considerate he will think twice before he <coughs> he takes action he will communicate with you and he will consider you as a valid partner now then we have the answer of the angels and it's a definite yes will it be a good partnership yes uh, will the second chance work yes but the second chance means also that you have to um, think of the past learn from the past it doesn't have to be with the same person but you just have to learn from the past forewarned is forearmed and then you have purity and this is the snow moon and this is a card from the queen of moon oracle deck and it's beautiful and it's number 30 and so that becomes a three creativity look for the simplest and the cleanest solution wow that is really direct understand your motives for doing what you are doing be as clear as possible in your communication and that's what I've been saying be transparent be clear don't wear a mask make sure that you if you are going to have a second chance with somebody that you communicate okay that you are not going to carry a dead weight and that you're not doing all the work the heavy work so make sure that you are s simple and clear 
then and understand why they did something they did in the first place. It doesn't have to be the same person like I said. It can be a different person. But try ask why are you doing this or why do you want to do that? Then you can understand what they are about. But I feel you're partnering up with a soulmate. And it doesn't have to be a life partner, okay? A soulmate can be a good f your best friend. That's it. Somebody that understands you, that has known you for a long, long time. I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Gemini, and um, I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for uh, all your likes and shares. You are rocking the boat. <laughs> you and Pisces are always in competition, and I always have to laugh. I love you loads. Take care and stay safe and be blessed and set the intention for healing if you need healing or just comfort from the divine and the angels and I will in I do send it out every day take care and love you loads bye bye my cyber angels <laughs>